Here are some key things you need to know before you start. Don't forget to spray paint the hula hoops and pour the beads out. Make sure you only use a low temp glue gun or you will pop your balloons. The balloon sizes that I used were 90 of the 12 inch balloons and 50 of the 5 inch balloons. You can always zip tie your poles to your box if you feel that that will be more secure. You can use a basket if you want to, or you can use a box. So today I'm just gonna use this box right here, any box that you have laying around. Just judge what size you wanna make it. This box is really big. My son's recliner chair came in this box, so this box is pretty huge. So first thing you wanna do is take some scissors or a box cutter, whatever you have, and just cut the flat off of each. Uh, so I'm cut this one, this one, all four of them. Take some wrapping paper and cover your box with the wrapping paper. If you're using the basket, then you don't have to do this step right here. So I just got some blue wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to wrap this around with tape and all of that good stuff to stick it down. And before you put the wrapping paper on, just use some tape. And take your tape and just go straight down the sides, down each corner. That is just to reinforce your corner. So just tape straight down. So this is the wrapping paper. I just put some tape at the top and at the bottom. And then I wrapped the wrapping paper all the way around. And I'm just going to tape it there. And then straighten out all of this. But it goes all the way around and that's how you wrap the wrapping paper here's the box all wrapped up with the wrapping paper and this is how the inside is going to be it's just tape clear tape all the way around next up are these brooms i purchased four brooms from the dollar tree and then you are just going to twist the bottoms off so once you twist the bottom off, you will end up with the poles with no tops. So the side that the bottom came off of is what I am going to have at the top. So I'm going to tape those in to take those poles down and get them secure. Um, I am going to be using some super heavy duty tape some liquid nails, hot glue gun, and E6000. You don't have to use all of this stuff, but me, I just wanna make sure it's secure, so I'm going crazy overboard putting all this glue and tape. You can just use E6000 if you want, and um, use whatever glue you feel like is gonna hold it together. There it is, I just gooped it all on there, E6000, uh, all the glues. Now that it is stuck down, I am going to just go in with the tip of the hardest nails and just bring a bead all the way up, making sure I go into all the gaps. And then last, I just added a couple pieces of tape just to secure it a little bit better while all the glue dries. This is how it looks once you finish gluing the poles down. And when everything is all said and done, you can always cover this with some more wrapping paper or some tissue paper. Once I'm finished, I will probably definitely cover that just because I don't like that eyesore. But nobody's really going to see the inside anyway because it's just a prop. So that is the end of the basket. Now we are going to start on the balloon. This is the pump that I use to blow up the balloons. I don't have my dual pump right now with me, but normally that's my go-to pump. It was $17 from Amazon. This one right here was $17 from Walmart. But you see the difference, the other one, you can do two balloons at a time. And it's much more sturdier than this. Balloon buddy. You can take one balloon and tie a knot and then take your second balloon, tie a knot, and then you will take the two separate balloons and tie them together. Two balloons. 
tie a knot and that's how you're gonna get them together Or you're going to take two balloons, you blow them up, and before you tie them, you just hold on tight and you tie them together. This will save you from doing that extra step of tying each balloon. And this is what I normally do when I use my dual pump. So you're just going to take these balloons and make a whole bunch of them. Just make all of them, throw them in a corner somewhere, and just crank them all out the next thing you're gonna need is five hula hoops these hula hoops are 29 inches I got them from the Dollar Tree so five hula hoops five bucks with each hula hoop before you start you need to go along the sides until you feel the opening It's normally covered with like a piece of tape so you just peel it off and then pull it apart and then each one you need to pour the beads out it's normally beads or sand so you just pour it out and just get rid of all of those beads now to start you're gonna take your two hula hoops you're gonna have one as a like this and then you're gonna take the other one and you're just gonna put it right through the middle and once it's even top and bottom like this you're gonna put tape Tape that cross together and tape that bottom cross together. So it's going to end up like this. That's just some duct, duct tape across the top and duct tape on the bottom. Now you're going to take a third hula hoop, place it through any of the center. It doesn't matter as long as it gets to the middle. So then it's going to look like that. And you're just going to tape that. So now we have three hula hoops all taped together. It's going to start looking like this molecule here. So now you have to place two more on. So take your fourth hula hoop and place it right on the top. It's just going to sit down like that and then you're going to tape it down. So here's the one at the top that I just did. It's this one right here. And you're going to have to tape it in multiple places. So tape here, 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 here. I couldn't get this one. I probably could have. You know, I am going to tape that one as well. Just tape all where the hula hoop connects at. And then you're going to flip it over and place another hula hoop on top. And when you place that hula hoop on the top, that will be your final hula hoop. So now you're just going to tape that final hula hoop across so there it is and every connection has tape on it you can always use twine or string if you don't want to use the tape so now to get the balloons on you are going to take all those sets of tools that you made and you are just going to take the balloon and push it right onto the hula hoop and then give it one twist like that you can do two twists if you want to and you can always spray paint the hula hoop. You can make it first and then spray paint the whole thing whatever color you want it to be so that it can be white or black, silver, just a better neutral color so you don't see all of this. As you can see these are smiley faces. So one more time take your cluster of two and just place it on the hula hoop and give it one complete twist and just do that for the whole thing all the way around once again take the two cluster of balloon put it underneath and then twist it around itself over and over until it's tight once you finish that you take these small balloons and you fill in all your gaps just push them in there or hot glue them in and make sure your glue gun says low temp it should say it somewhere on there probably right in the corner just make sure it's not high temp because you will pop your balloon and you will be starting all over and this is the back right here and that's my hot air balloon because this is going outside, I actually used one of these 260 balloons 
to anchor it down so i just took the balloon wrapped it around the hula hoop inside and then tied it on there and then it goes around on each one so there it is all set up it's outside i have some weights in there to weigh it down and people are just going to take pictures in front so if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts and if you have any questions let me know see you later